Welcome to my channel. This video will demonstrate potato core osmosis experiment which can be done at home. You will need two potatoes, salt, water, cock borer, cutting board, measuring cup, a knife, digital scales, six jars, some stationeries, paper towel, and a spoon. Place a potato on a cutting board. Use a cork borer to make potato cores. For this experiment, we need 18 good potato cores, and here's one of them. Make as many cores as you can from one potato. This will make sure all cores have the same internal salt content. As you can see, I had to use a second potato to make sure I have 18 cores. To keep things as fair as possible, I will mix the cores from both potatoes. For every set of three cores, two will come from the first potato and one will be from the second potato. This might be different in your situation. It is important the cores, the core sets are as similar as possible. Now my cores are ready for the next stage. Now it's time to cut all cores to three centimeters. Place the cores on a white paper to see them better as you measure three centimeters. You do not have to do it. Make sure you arrange them nicely with good ends of cores aligned at one side. Top in my case. Place a rule on one side of your potato core set. Hold the cores tightly together and cut the cores at zero centimeters and three centimeters mark of the ruler. Do the same for the remaining sets. Now we will use digital scales to weigh the different amount of salt required to make solutions for different environment for the cores. After placing a jar on a digital scale, press tear to set the scale reading to zero gram. Note, we are creating our independent variable, a variable we can manipulate or we can change. We want to weigh one gram, two gram, three gram, four gram, and finally five grams. One of the jars should not have salt. This will be our zero gram salt jar. Sometimes it can be tricky to measure exactly one gram.
I was able to weigh 1.01 gram salt. Always label your jars. Now all the jars have their respective salt amounts. Note, the first one has no salt, hence it's labeled zero gram salt. Now it's time to add water into our jars. We will use a suitable measuring cup to measure 100 ml of water. To each of the jars, add 100 ml of water. Stir well in each jar until all the salt has completely dissolved. Time to weigh the corsets and record their initial masses or weights. Keeping track of data is key to scientists. You can create a good table to record your observation. Weigh the first set of potato cores. Record the mass in the table. And immediately place the corset into the first jar with zero gram salt. Now we have all our cores inside salt solutions. And importantly, the initial mass has been recorded. The experiment will be left for 24 hours under suitable unchanging conditions, such as room temperature. This is one of our controlled variable, or sometimes it is referred to as a constant variable. After 24 hours, it's time to check the results. We will need a new datasheet. It is also fine to record initial and final masses in one table. Gently remove the potato core sets and place them on a paper towel. This is to dry the cores so that the water outside the cores is not part of measurement. We are only interested with the amount of water inside the cores. After drying the potatoes, Weigh each set to obtain the final weight or mass after 24 hours. As a habit, always recall the weight results for each set immediately. It will be nice if the cores go back into the salt solutions, just in case the results are not good enough and you would like to leave them longer. Do the same with the remaining core sets.
This is something else you can also observe. The texture. The cores in the zero gram salt have become hard. That is tajid. This suggests that water has entered the cores to make them stiff. The cores from the one gram salt solution are not as stiff as those from zero gram salt. The cores from the four gram salt solution are very soft and easy to bend. Water must have come out from cores in the one gram and four gram salt solution, and that is why they are not hard but flaccid. These are our final results after 24 hours. I have created a table on Microsoft Excel. You can easily calculate the change in mass or the percentage change in mass after 24 hours by inserting formulas. This is a graph of salt concentration versus change in mass over 24 hours. You can clearly see there is a relationship between the salt concentration and the change in mass of course. The higher the salt concentration, the more the water was lost by the potato cores. The cores which were in the 5 gram salt solution did not behave as I expected. These things do happen during investigations. A similar graph is expected if you are graphing salt concentration versus percentage change in mass after 24 hours. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you all be able to set up your own experiments.